Hey, Marvin Lindsay, Senior Pastor of First Presbyterian Church. I want to tell you a story. It's uh, another take on the scripture passage I'm preaching on this summer. It's a, or this Sunday. It's a story about an infection that was spreading like wildfire and ravaging the community. I'm not talking about the coronavirus. I'm talking about the insane idea that God had raised from the dead that rabble rouser from Nazareth named Jesus. More and more people were calling Jesus Lord and Savior. Even in death, he was attracting more and more disciples. And to a young and zealous man in Jerusalem named Saul, it seemed like the community was going to die of this infectious ideology. So, like a one-man testing and contact tracing program, Saul went house to house in Jerusalem, investigating, testing, and rounding up anybody who might belong to the Jesus way. And then he got permission to leave Jerusalem and go to Damascus and round up any stragglers there. You see, he wanted to contain the infection so that the outbreak would be localized and would be more easy to eradicate. But along the way, that rabble rouser from Nazareth revealed himself to Saul as the resurrected one. And with that new vision came a completely new mission for Saul. He began to spread the very infection he was trying to stamp out. He joined the discipleship way, and he told people that Jesus was Lord and Savior, and he founded churches all over the Roman Empire. The idea spread, and it grew. And that's why I'm a Christian today, because in God's providence, it didn't get stamped out or eradicated way back then. So this Pentecost, as we celebrate the birth of the church, the birthday of the church, we call it, it's my prayer that we'll all come down with a full-blown infection of Jesus' discipleship, that we won't be rendered immune by exposure to a weakened form or a weakened strain, but we'll just get it real bad, the love and justice of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take care. See you in church.